Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make um, a 1910s inspired hat. Um, you will need some hats, of course. I got these at Target, I Goodwill, and eBay. Um, you will need some ribbon, some flowers. You can use fake flowers. I grabbed these. They kind of look like flowers, but they're fabric. Really, really like them. And I'm going to break this thing apart and add it to one of the hats. You will need a measuring tape and a glue gun. So yeah, I will teach you guys, so just keep watching. Okay, so you're going to measure your hat. I'm making it a little bigger because I want to be able to take off this ribbon so I can actually reuse my hats. I don't want to glue them directly into my my hat. Okay, so then we're going to cut this section. And you're going to decide how you want to arrange your decorations that you purchased. Um, I think I'm going to do this. And then all you're going to do is just glue them onto your ribbon that you just cut out. Okay, so then you're going to grab the rest of your ribbon. Or you can do um, as long as you want, but I actually just want to use the whole thing. So you create a bow, and you're going to attach this bow to your hat. So then now I glued the bow I made. I used my whole roll because I wanted it to be long, but it really depends on what you want. And this is the final look it literally took me maybe like less than 10 minutes to make this and you can just curl your hair and you'll be looking like you just went to the Titanic <laughs> okay, so for this next hat I found this in the wedding section at Michael's um, it already has a ribbon so all I have to do is figure out where I want to place it and tie a bow or not, however you like, in the back of a hat. Because I felt this is way too plain, um, I found these amazing, it's one of my favorite ribbons, um, blue, like a royal blue ribbon, and it has like velvet, uh, I'm not sure what this stuff is called, the designs. Well, these designs are really cute, and it just, it's so nice. And then I'm gonna put this over it, and tie another bow to the back. Okay, so for this one, the third hat, it's basically the same concept. I'm just gonna add glue, glue them on to the ribbon, and you place them wherever you wanna be placed. Okay, so this is my last hat that I made. I did it with green ribbon, brown and white, um, flowers and I added a feather and then the back it's not as long as the other ones but it's still long and this was it